A god complex is an unshakable belief characterized by consistently inflated feelings of personal ability, privilege, or infallibility. Michael Jackson has always been a polarizing figure in pop culture throughout his career he had a histories of writing and singing, humanitarian songs, from Can You Feel It, We Are The World, Man In The Mirror, Jam, Black or White, Heal The World, Will You Be There, They Don't Care About Us, Earth Song, Cry, what more can I give he sang about race relations and fixing the world through the span of his entire career. From a once admirable sentiment to an almost appalling god-like display. When it comes to Mr. Jackson he had created a persona, unifying, friend to all, and savior of the lost children, who would receive retribution and ultimately be crucified by the world. In other words God. Jackson's song We Are The World would be his most successful single, not his better-known upbeat dance tracks. The song was written co-written by Jackson himself for the supergroup, USA for America on behalf of the famine which had stretched across the African country of Ethiopia. On his 1987 album Bad, the last song added to the record would be Man in the Mirror, one of the two songs not penned by Jackson, but it spoke to the artist on a profound way and became the most acclaimed track from the album. His 1991 album Dangerous, would spawn singles Jam, Black or White, his most successful song to the point, as well as the poetic, Heal the World and Will You Be There. The former would become the center of his 1993, Super Bowl performance which would see him bring together cultures and races come together in the conclusion. When it comes to having a, God complex, one will usually refuse to admit and may even deny the possibility of their error or failure, even in the face of complex or evident problems or impossible tasks. This was seen as most evident in Jackson following the 1993 allegations. From the this point onward, and explicitly expresses throughout his history album, being him most personal work, due to the fact that it bluntly expresses at times the hardship he was facing, unlike all of his other works. In songs like DS, a notable dose track he calls out the district attorney who had been maliciously investigating him. Then he takes on this sort of third-person charcuterie in They Don't Care About Is, which sees him take on all of the world issues, similar to that of Christ being pinned to the crosses. He goes on to dodge any fault in the song Childhood, and actually puts the blame onto those who list over money and sensationalism in the songs Money and Tabloid Junkie. With his 1995 track, Earth Song, the artist would leave behind the subtle echoes of his past songs and outright yell and demand we change. This song would accompany the controversial Brit Award performance, which would see the artist outright represent the messiah. During the performance, singer Jarvis Cocker ran onto the stage while Jackson was dangling off the edge of the crane. He lifted his shirt, pretended to break wind and gave Jackson the V-sign. This act of celebrities being humanitarians is very commonplace now, but at the point where Jackson started he was practically one of the originators. Along with the likes of fellow contemporaries of the time. According to Catherine Jackson, all actions Jackson took to making the world's better place were sentiments he expressed as a child. But a lot of people misunderstood him. They didn't know Michael um, loved life, he loved people. And he gave so much to charity, and he always loved um, to give to the people that didn't have, mm. even since he was a little kid, about six or seven years old. Mm. As I always tell the story about, he was laying on the floor watching TV, and um, remember when these little black kids had the big stomachs and flies flying all around them and their mouths and all, and he would start crying. And he was telling me, he said, Mommy, one day I'm going to do something about this. He would donate millions of dollars to charities, begin his own charitable organization in the form of Heal the World and Heal LA. In the new millennium the artist would release the single Cry and What More Can I Give, the latter would be feature a supergroup of singers in support of the victims of the September 11th attacks. The inspiration for the song had initially come to Jackson after a meeting with the president of South Africa Nelson Mandela in the late 1990s. The song would become one of the last songs the artist would promote. 
Jackson's actions could be seen outwardly as in addition to his polarizing behavior but in the same way completely genuine.